This is a demonstration of how to use MadPuck for only tracking uh, goals. So the first thing we're going to do is show you, if you go to the uh, bottom right hand corner to the More tab, and you go Try Scorekeeping, and then enter game events using a sample game. This is the best way to um, mess around and enter stats and figure out how things work uh, without messing up the actual games and stats of your main team. And without having to create a test team, it comes preloaded with a bunch of different players. So for example, you could create a goal against, um, and there's already players set here for you to, uh, to use. And then that way your, your main team is, is uh, not messed up. So let's just go back out of there. I, I already have a test team. I want to show you how to use that. Um, so you can see if we go to the bottom left, the schedules uh, tab, and we're going to click on the, game, the next game. Um, first thing we're going to notice is that there's um, four players present, zero absent, 24 plus one means 24 skaters and one goalie, still tentative. So you're going to want to make sure that that gets uh, resolved before the game or else the players that are, that are tentative won't show up in the, uh, won't show up available for entering goals with. And you can also notice there's a warning there that there's no goalies for this team. So we're going to click on the game. And again, you can see another attendance summary there that's the same thing. Um, and we're going to click on that to go into the attendance. And the first section you can see present, the next section absent, and then have not responded. So hopefully the have not responded section is fairly short. Um, if you, you can just move a couple players into either present or absent. So we're just going to go down and, and find our goalie at the bottom there. And as a stats user, you'll be able to move anyone out of, out of uh, change the attendance of, of any player. So we're going to click on goalie and we're going to say mark present. And for the purposes of this demo, we're just going to leave everyone else in, in, in tentative, but for your games, you're going to want to make sure those are removed. We're going to go back and now we're, we're, as a stats user, we're, we're going to go into track events and we're going to sign up for time and for goals and then hit save. Now, if you want to get back to the role screen later, It'll come up the first time you go in, um, but if you want to get back to it later, if you click on the menu on the top right and then game roles, the fourth one down, you can get that back again. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start in the time tab. And um, in this game scenario, we've got one period, which is 50 minutes. And so we're just going to hit, and, and it's runtime as well. So at the beginning of the game, we're just going to hit play and we're going to choose that we're defending the left side. So this clock will run down as long as we don't exit the app. Um, it will continue running down. If, if, it, if we exit the app or minimize it, we're, we may have to come back in here and hit play again. If you do want to stop the time for any reason, you can press and hold on the stop button and it'll stop the time. But otherwise, for the most part, just hit play at the beginning and uh, we'll, we'll let, it, let it run through. So the main task that we have here is if we go into goals, um, you can see uh, the, the score, score at the top there, period one, score us, score them, and the times continues to count down. So you can also use the, the buttons there to start and stop the time from this tab. Um, if we score a goal, we're going to click on the button on the left with the uh, red goal button. So we're going to click that. And you'll notice that the time of goal, which is this field here, is automatically set to the time that's running down, so we don't have to change that. Um, if, you, if you're not running with the time, um, you can set this manually by just clicking on it and entering the number. Um, but it's best to just hit get the time running and then it automatically populated as well. This will automatically be populated. Um, and then the only thing we really need to enter here is who scored it. So we're going to say Roberts and assisted by Watts and Wood. And we're going to just leave on ice to be the players that um, scored and assisted. We're not going to track that. And then at the top right, we're going to click add. And then you'll notice that the score comes in in the, the box at the top there. Uh, we can see that we've got one goal. Let's add another goal for us. Um, one assist. Let's make this one unassisted. Click add. And our score is updated to two. Now, if the other team scores, we also have to enter a goal for them, so the score is accurate. So now we're going to click on the, uh, the goal button that's black for Brantford Saints. We're going to click on that one, and 
Uh, notice again the time of goal is automatically set in the period, and we're not tracking on ice, so we're just going to hit add at the top. So it takes one second to add that. Let's add another goal for them, and then click the, click the button at the top there, and then add. And that's all there is to it. So eventually, the time is going to run down to zero. We're just going to set it to zero for now. If you click on the time, you can adjust it. Um, and then we're going to move back over to time. And we're going to click uh, the game over button to finish the game. And we're going to press yes. And now you'll see the game over indicator. And at that point, the cumulative stats are generated for this game and the league stats will be generated. So it's important to make sure you end the game. If we click back and back again, we're back at the, the home screen. And just want to quickly show you the stats tab. If we scroll over to the stats tab, um, there's three different tabs. So we've got league, league, or sorry, um, team stats, which show stats specific to the team. So for the season, we've played 13 games, one win, zero losses, and 12 ties. Um, and then the player tab, which will be um, they show the stats for the player associated with this user. At the top, we have a summary of all the stats for the season. And then we go into a bunch of different tables that show stats based on a bunch of different splits. So by month, by win-loss ties, by opponent, there's lots of different categories. Um, you'll notice the games played. So this is important to have your, it's important to have your attendance updated so that the games played is accurate. Um, and, and there you go. So if, if you do need to make a change to the goals after, if you go back into the schedule, back into that game that we just scored, and then there's an edit goals button. So you click on edit goals. And let's say we wanted to go into the second goal that we scored. Click on that. And now we want to add an assist. We'll put in uh, Roberts for the assist and hit save. And then, it, then it'll be updated and the cumulative stats uh, for the player and the team and um, and the league will be updated. One more thing to mention is uh, if we go back into track events um, and we go to the time tab, you'll notice you can actually click on uh, the scoreboard elements. So for example, um, if I click on the time, because this game's over, it's, it's just warning me. So click on the time, I can edit the time to be whatever I want and leave it at zero. Um, but I've noticed that some people have been editing the scoreboard directly. So if you click on the score um, of either side, um, the first thing you're going to notice is, is it gives you a warning. The score is updated automatically when shots or goals are entered. Manually editing the score may result in, a, in the wrong score. Are you sure you want to edit the score? So you'll notice here you, you can edit the score, but that's not the right way to do it since we're tracking the goals using the goals tab. So uh, it's best to leave the scoreboard alone, and if you want to adjust um, the score, go in here and add a goal for either team, and you can also click on the menu and also get to edit goals from here to adjust um, information about one of the goals. So we, if we want to delete the last goal, we can click on it and hit delete, and then you'll notice the score goes back to 2-2. Two -two. So that's everything for the demo today. Um, thank you for choosing MadPuck, and if you have any questions, uh, please read, reach out to us, info at madpuck.com. Thank you.